Good morning, Gemini. This is your reading for December 1st through the 15th. And remember, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Now, Gemini, as I was meditating on your energy, I was feeling like I was seeing the two of wands. I feel like you're maybe waiting for something to, to happen. Um, I feel like you really need to make a choice in a situation. But I also really feel like you are very overwhelmed at the moment. Maybe you're taking on way too many projects and it's spreading you way too thin. But I, I feel that energy like you're being very overwhelmed. Like you need to delegate. You need to set your priorities. Let's get some monology cards, see what they have to say about the situation. Yeah, you have emotions are running high, the super moon. Yeah, so I feel that's exactly what I'm feeling. You, your emotions are running high because you're, you're spreading yourself way too thin. And it's starting to make you anxious. And maybe a little grumpy is what I want to say. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Okay, what you don't see at the bottom, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Okay, so I, I, I'm feeling like you're overwhelmed at the moment, but I do feel like you're protected. I do feel like um, you have someone coming to your rescue you are being supportive very interesting gemini very interesting reading so far okay um i feel like you're making powerful moves at the moment uh, it could be something that you're working on this could be um a new project that you're working on this could be a hobby that you're creating um that you're really trying to bring into light maybe you're opening in a business and you're really hoping that it takes off but i feel like you're making powerful moves and right now i feel like you are seeing that you're in uncharted sea i feel like this is this is a new feeling this is taking you to de destinations that you've never been before I feel like you're moving in this direction and you see the possibilities that you never have seen before. And these possibilities are, are great and life-changing. You also have sacred reverence at the bottom. So this could be love. This could be love taking you into a totally new direction, someplace that you have never imagined going. Um, or like I said, this could also be business. This could also be a project that you're working on that you're taking to the next level. And it's, it's going to be huge. Okay, let's look at the tarot. What tarot do we have for Gemini for December 1st through the 15th? What tarot do we have for Gemini for December 1st through the 15th? Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so I, I currently feel like you're juggling. You're juggling way too much at the moment, though, um, Gemini. You also have the Page of Pentacles. And you have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So I feel like whatever this is, you're, 
you're understanding that you need to set your priorities. Um, and this could be with a project. This could be with your finances. Um, but I feel like some kind of information that you're receiving is actually uplifting you. Um, it's actually making you come out of your shell. I feel like you understand that you're at a point where it's no holds barred. You're not holding yourself back any longer. You're putting yourself out there to do whatever it is that you need to do. And you also have the King of Pentacles. You have lots of Pentacles in this reading. So I feel like it could be, it could very well be something that's with business. You have the Hierophants. And you have the Ace of Swords. Okay, let's get some more cards here before we dive into this, Gemini. I'm, I'm very anxious to see what's going on in this last row. Okay, we have the Page of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, lots of Pentacles in this reading. You also have the Queen of Cups. Okay. And something that you may not see coming is the Knight of Cups. So I feel like this Knight, this may be a person coming forward. This may be business, but this also may have to do with love. Since you have this King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, these are counterparts here. Um, you also have the Queen of Cups. So I, I feel like this may be love um, that's coming in for you as well. And I, I feel like it's something that's, going to kind of bring you back down to earth but I feel like this person is is very thoughtful and caring very supportive I feel like you are totally supportive very interesting okay now in this middle row like I said you have the king of pentacles the hierophants and the Ace of Swords. So this is, this very well could be the new beginning of ideas. Maybe this is the new beginning of ideas of a marriage because you have the Hierophant here. The Hierophant here is the, the card of conformity. It's the card of, um, conventional expectations traditions and a lot of times it's associated with marriage it can also be associated with spirituality so I, I feel like I feel like when with this queen of pentacles at the head and at the side of this hierophant I feel like you're being opened up to new ideas of being married, new ideas of uniting yourself with someone else. Very interesting. But I, I, I feel like it's coming with a lot of truth. This new beginning is very... very intellectual I also feel like it's very spiritual and with this knight of wands at the bottom I feel like 
the person that's coming towards you is very creative, a uh, free spirit, someone who kind of goes with the flow of things. They don't really follow certain expectations. I feel like they kind of do what they want to do and leave it at that. They don't follow anyone's expectations of what they should do. Okay, let's get a little bit of clarity here. This is very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, with the Two of Pentacles, you have the Three of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like you're finding, finally gaining the support that you need in order to move into this direction. Um, I feel like you're setting your priorities. And I apologize, I'm bumping the camera. Okay, we're still good. Yeah, I'm, I feel like you're being supported. I feel like the Three of Pentacles is my card of finding balance and being supported in this situation. Someone's helping you out. Someone is working with you. What is this Page of Pentacles? What is this Page of Pentacles, please? You have the Four of Swords. So I feel like this news that you're giving. This news that you're getting is kind of making you feel renewed. You're feeling more balanced with the situation. You're feeling more rested. You feel like this is a blessing that someone has given you. What is this Ace of Swords in reverse? What is this Ace of Swords in reverse? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is definitely you setting yourself free. And this could be your energy. The Knight of Wands could be your energy. I, I feel like you're kind of not caring what anyone else thinks about this situation. You want to do it a certain way and you want it done this way and that's it. You don't want no one's no one else's opinion. You don't want no one else's input. This is how you want it. And I feel like you're very bold about that information. Oh, what is this King of Pentacles? Who is this King of Pentacles, please? You got the Eight of Swords in reverse again. Okay, so maybe you're... Maybe this is someone that you were holding yourself back from, but now you've kind of change your mind on the situation it's so odd that you would get the eight of swords reversed twice so you're definitely you're definitely not restricting yourself from this person anymore all right you're definitely not isolating yourself from this person so it, it seems like maybe you're holding yourself back from the situation maybe you thought this could not be for you or would not be for you but you're kind of seeing it in a different light and i feel like you're letting down your guard you're ready to move forward in this situation very interesting very interesting gemini you also have with the hierophant you also have the ten of pentacles in this um overall energy so i feel like
whatever spiritual moves that you you're making I feel like it's very abundant for you. It's making you feel totally revived, totally overwhelmed with, in a good way, totally overwhelmed in a good way. Yeah. What is this Ace of Swords? Very interesting. Gemini, very interesting. Yeah, with this new clarity that you're receiving, with this huge beginning of truth and intellect, you have the sun. And actually, Taurus got the sun in the same position. You may want to take a look at Taurus. Very interesting, though. I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles and the Sun, this is very, very happy, very joyous. I feel like I feel like you've totally let down your walls. And you have with the Page of Wands, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, I feel like whatever this Page of Wands news is, it's going to be a turning point for you. This is going to be a change. Now with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Page of Wands again, and the King of Wands. So you have two Kings. You have a bunch of pages, so I feel like communication is really coming in for you right now. Communication is going to be your key to this happiness and success, this change. Communication is going to open up the avenues that you need. And with this King of Wands, now remember the, the Page of Wands and the King of Wands is clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. So she's very practical, very resourceful. Now, the King of Wands, they're very bold. They're very assertive. They're very charming and courageous. So I feel like this is definitely um, a situation where you, you may receive communication from this King of Wands. There's someone coming in wanting to communicate with you. They're wanting to give you a message. With this Queen of Cups, you have the Hangman. So I'm feeling like with the hangman, I feel like you, you're you you're taking on a new perspective of this person. Now, it doesn't matter if they're male or female, but the, the hangman and the queen of cups, I feel like you're looking at this person with a whole new perspective. Maybe that's the reason why you've got the eight of swords in the reverse twice. Because you're looking at this person with a whole new perspective. You're looking at them in a whole new dynamic. And you also got the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck again. And you have the Hierophants in the middle. So I feel like this is the universe really tell, telling you that this, by letting down your walls, by taking this chance, it's actually going to turn out in your favor. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness and wealth. Um, but this is this is actually, this is very good, Gemini. This is very good. Very interesting. At the bottom, you have the judgment. So yeah, I definitely feel like this is a renewal of your soul. This is, this may be leading you into a soul contract, your life purpose. Um, but I feel like you need to make 
a final decision about the situation. Okay, I want to put this down. Let's get a message from your angels. Let's get a message from your angels for clarity on this situation. Very interesting reading. I feel like it's filled with a lot of happiness and joy. I feel like you're letting down your walls. Your you're slowly looking at this person with brand new eyes for some reason. Something this person that something that this person did. Maybe they helped you or they supported you in a time when you needed support. But I feel like you're looking at this person now as a blessing in disguise. Very interesting. Okay, Gemini, we have Adriana. I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. Yeah, I feel like the, the universe is leading you to this situation. I feel like your spirit guides, your, your, your angels want you to go in this direction. Okay, we have Ray. Yoga, exercise, and this are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, spiritual growth right now. So yet yeah, they also want you to take time off for yourself to um, really enjoy your fruits of your labor. You also have at the bottom, Teresa, time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Yeah, so they really want you to take some time to focus on yourself as well and kind of let, let others worry about themselves at the moment. Um, okay, let's see. That's way too many cards. Let's try this again. Okay, universe, give me a card, a message for Gemini for December. First through the 15th. Give me a card. Thank you. Okay, it says, I am spirit. Having human experience. And I am here to get closer to love. Yeah, so th this very well could be love. I feel like spirit is moving you closer. Yeah, I feel like spirit is moving you closer to this destination, this destination of love. Okay, the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Yeah, the Eight of Swords reversed. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very interesting. At the bottom you've got, I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with eyes of love. Yeah, so I really feel like you're seeing somebody for the first time in a very new light, Gemini. Now, if this reading resonates with you, please type in the comment section below, I claim it. And uh, if it resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And uh, make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And Gemini, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Many blessings to you. Love and light, Gemini.